Welcome back to Teresa's Dead. My name is Teresa and I'm very much alive. I have an awful garbage filthy mouth so viewer discretion is advised but if you're not into that or weird shit in general this is definitely not the place for you. Feel free to X out the video here. No harm, no foul, but I'll remember our time fondly. Y'all my little pumpkins. I am doing a, a video a little bit differently um, only because work has been bananas and I just want to, I don't know, just kind of do a little bit more first impressions and I think at the end of the month kind of just do more of a roundup of all the stuff that if I'm loving, if I'm hating, if you know, bloopity blah blah. That said, in today's video we're going to be talking about the new foundation from Patrick Ta along with the Gucci blush. Oh my goodness. So essentially I'm going to tell you a little bit about the products first. I'm going to show you a try on and then I'm just going to give you my thoughts at the end and uh, yeah, hope you enjoy this format. Doing something a little bit different and um, I that's all I got. <laughs> That's all I got today, kids. This, by the way, is the finished look, obviously. Just saying. This was a journey. A journey, okay? But let me tell you a little bit about the Patrick Ta product first. The Major Skin Cream Foundation and Finishing Powder Duo retails for $52. A duo that includes a blendable medium coverage cream foundation paired with a satin finish powder. So in this lovely compact, you get about 0.42 ounces of cream foundation and 0.31 ounces of powder, which not even a full ounce, is it? Not quite. Not quite. According to our good friends at Sephora, it has a natural finish, it's good for pores, it's medium coverage, and it's best for oily combo or normal skin. Notice how dry skin is not a part of the equation. Now, keep in mind, I have dry, 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 dry skin, so this should be interesting, right? <laughs> it comes in this really beautiful compact, which is very, very similar to all the other Patrick Ta compacts, making it just aesthetically pleasing if anything. The other product we're going to talk about, Gucci Luminous Matte Beauty Blush. Embellished with a pastel enamel and a playful star pattern, Gucci Blush Debut Gold Tone Compact contains a tenderly embossed makeup powder with the emblematic Gucci logo within. So this is made in Italy, it's 0.19 ounces and it retails for a whopping $49. Yes, I know you heard right, $49, but it is Gucci after all. The packaging is everything, honestly. It's probably the best part of it. Gucci knows what they're doing when it comes to packaging. You get a nice little mirror here and your adorable little product. I have it in the shade Bright Coral because that was the only shade that was available at the time. I think by the time you see this video, I believe there is at least four other colors in this formula, but uh, don't quote me on that. This also feels very much in line with other Gucci products that have this just beautiful old school, old Hollywood, wonderful aesthetic that we all love from the brand. And unfortunately it does have that Gucci scent, um, but I will say this is probably the best iteration of it considering most Gucci products smells like an old lady's veg. So that said, that's what we're working with today. So let's show past me, future me, past me. Enjoy. Hi, so I look like a greasy grease grease ball. Hi, uh, <laughs> basically what I did before uh, starting this video is that I use a little bit of my tried and true, my Ritual Defeat Thorn Oil Primer, the best primer in the whole world. I have that on my face and I did a little bit of color correcting because this, it's red, but when I tell you I look like a fucking tomato, I look like a fucking tomato. So. <laughs> And I was like, I can't. Honestly, you know what it is? It's um, annoyance. <laughs> it's not rosacea. It's when my blood boils, that's what happens. <laughs> my face turns real red. <sighs> and it was just like, it was too much. So anyway, this is what she looked like. Okay. We have one side's cream, one side's powder. I have it in the shade one, which in hindsight, <sighs> I don't know. I feel like this is going to look very... <laughs> Okay, you bitch. I think we went a little too late with this one. Wow, all right. You know what's so funny? I did the, uh, I bought this through Sephora and, and so, that's, that's real full cut. Holy shit, okay. <laughs> I bought this through Sephora and when I tried to do the shade matching, which by the way, I don't know why I do it. I don't know why I do it. It always tells me some weird fucking shade, but this one was like, no, there is no shade for you. <laughs> So I was like, you know what? Let's throw caution to the wind, babe. Let's just do it. Let's try to see if I could fuck my face. <laughs> and we'll go with number one. Number one seems like it's very fair. It's going to work very well <laughs> with my uncooked chicken ass. And dare I say, this kind of feels more like a concealer <sighs> than an actual found. Actually, you know what? Maybe I spoke too soon. Maybe it's light. <laughs> She light. Okay. All right. All right. It's 
this is the first time I'm actually trying the product. I have no expectation. I'm using one of my favorite brushes ever, which is from Sonia G. This is her jumbo base brush. And this just makes applying foundation so much easier. So as I'm going with the brush, I ain't mad at it. It's applying really nicely. Doesn't appear to be streaky. It's definitely a high, high medium coverage. I'm avoiding my nose because my nose is the driest part of my face. So I'm gonna try to use a sponge for that one. But I'm just like kind of dipping it in one time. You know what? I was talking shit about the shade range, but I think it's actually, I guess I'm just that white. <laughs> ah, okay, blending into my wall. The only thing about this is that I feel like I'm being, how do I put it? I feel like I'm gently touching the product. I'm so scared to like, scoop because I feel like I'm gonna hit pan. That's the one thing right now that it's kind of going through my mind. Like, you know, not a fan of that. Not a fan of feeling like, oh God, this is not gonna work out very well for me. But you know what, maybe it's all in my head. Not bad. Oh, mama is white. <laughs> I'm just gonna go over it with a sponge because while it does apply nicely with the brush, I still see some brush marks. Not my favorite. I didn't put any additional product on the sponge. I'm basically just taking what I have already on my face and then applying it to the nose. I know a lot of people have their different methods and how they do things. That's what works for me. All right, doesn't look too bad. I'm gonna go back in with the brush. I'm just gonna just put a little bit more coverage here because I feel like with the sponge, I still see some redness poking through. So I don't really know if it is technically the sponge that's picking up the product. Or <laughs> trust the process, okay? Actually, don't trust the process. This is the fucking first time I'm using this thing. This could go horribly wrong. <laughs> But a part of me is wondering if it's the sponge. I'm gonna go in with just a little bit more product, but this time I'm gonna take the sponge. I just wanna put it right here because I feel like for whatever reason, the foundation is kind of missing this area. So I kind of feel like this side is a little bit heavier, just right here. And yes, it could totally be a me problem because I was putting a little bit more product there only because it wasn't really sticking to that part of my face. You still see some redness poking through, which I mean, it's kind of par for the course. I am really fucking mad. <laughs> right now so that could be it too and maybe when i've cooled down my face will look somewhat normal but um right now this looks fine this part of my face looks okay it's just right here it looks thick and it looks like the foundation's kind of patchy on this side hold on let me see if i could zoom you in and show you because it just looks a little like fucking rough here it looks fine here it's just this side it's not cooperating So on second thought, I think this looks a lot better. I think it was a me issue, a combination of using the brush and not blending it out properly. It definitely made it look kind of patchy and funky right here, but it's starting to look a lot better now. And I think it's because I finally hit the point where I added enough without fucking going too over the top. And I think I blended it as good as I'm gonna get. This side I love, but this one could also be because the fact that my skin is still pretty red, it's throwing me off a little bit too. But um, so far, not too shabby. So let me uh, just put a little bit of concealer on. Okay, so we have our concealer on, everything looks good. I'm liking it more and more as I am staring at myself in the mirror, so that's great. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in with the powder side and we're gonna set it. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just gonna go in with my Sony G Face Pro brush. We're just going to take a little bit of product, okay? And then we're gonna just gently pat the face. I don't like this. <laughs> um, I don't like it. Mm -mm. Hold on. <laughs> I am not a fan of the powder. It's not meshing well. It has it has a bit of a powderiness to it that I'm not loving. So I'm gonna just try this just as an under eye. Maybe it's just better as an under eye powder. I'm also going to powder my eyelids too. I don't know, man. It just makes it look kind of dry, my skin. And while yes, it kind of looks luminous, I feel like mm, it's just, there's like a little bit of a dryness to it. And I wasn't really putting on too much powder. And I kind of just was lightly tapping it into my skin so that it wouldn't disturb the foundation. It's like a weird thing going on over here. It's making it fucking streaky. 
Also, the powder is not really doing a good job setting my under eye area. Looks kind of creasy. Mm. All right, I'm not, I'm not, nope. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> we are not a fan of this. This is not great. I don't like it. I feel like everything was looking okay until I did that. And I really just want to put some fucking Chantecaille all over my face to try to save this, but that would not be fair. Also, why do I look like I have fucking severe lines under my eyes? Like, I'm not that old bitch. Come on, come on, act accordingly. Holy shit. What the f This is not going good. <laughs> okay, so. Fuck. Fuck. 2,000 years later. So the next product we're gonna go in with, which I am so excited to use, by the way, is the new Gucci blush. I have it in the shade Bright Coral. It does have like a perfumey smell, but I don't find this as offensive as say the uh, bronzer that kind of has that um, old woman puss smell. <laughs> as I so lovingly call it. But this one, I'm actually really excited about. It picks up really beautifully. All I've done is actually swatch this product. So I'm so curious how this is going to lay down. Let's hope for the best here, kids. Oh, that is so pretty. Ah. Oh. I fucking, I can't. This is so nice. It reminds me a little bit of, I don't know, kind of reminds me a little bit of like Chantecaille in a way, a little bit like Hourglass. It's a beautiful soft formula. It adheres really nicely to the face. It's quite pigmented, but it doesn't feel like it's too much if that makes sense. Fucking packaging is absolutely stunning. So how I purchased this was, I guess there must've been a glitch on the Gucci website where only this blush popped up. And so I ordered it incredibly fast because apparently, I think now it's available, but for a while it was just only these two. So, okay, I'm a little, a little possessed doll-ish. We're gonna fix that. Oh, they blend so easily and so beautifully. Okay, okay. I like it. I am a fan. It's a very strong blush look, but you know what? It deters from the fact that I have gross powder on my <laughs> my face so i guess that's good i'm gonna add just a little more right there i can't help it it's really soft and pretty and i like that i can kind of buff it into the skin and it doesn't disappear that's the worst thing about sometimes blushes is that when you start buffing it into the skin it starts to disappear okay so let me just finish the rest of my face really fast and then um let's just let's 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 talk about it <laughs> so let's talk about the foundation I'm a little conflicted. On one hand, I like it. On the other hand, and not so much. <laughs> so when it first came to the cream side, now, like I said, I did put on some Ritual Defeat, did put on some Dr. Jart color corrector, only because my face was incredibly red. As you can see here, like I am fuming. Anyway, <laughs> so with those two products that are definitely more on the luminous side, it gave my face a nice, beautiful radiance to it. Now this is a natural finished foundation. So technically it should kind of be bordered more on like soft matte. I felt like with my primer, it looked really, really good. I wasn't really sure why it wasn't sticking to this portion of my face. I think this half looked wonderful throughout the whole process. This just was like, oh, a little bit of, I felt like I had to handhold it a little bit, but I think that could have been user error. That said, I didn't notice any creasing, which was wonderful. I think where it gets a little bit fucked up is when you use the powder side for whatever reason even though the technique that I use I felt like was going in with incredibly like a light hand and just gently touching my face with a brush the powder wasn't melting into the skin normally powder should melt into your skin to basically look seamless airbrushed if you will right this did none of that if anything it just created a dry texture where I was noticing that the foundation was kind of getting pulled up a little bit so ugh, because of that very reason it's something that I'm just like, ooh, I really just don't want to fuck with. I'm going to continue to use it. And of course, I'm going to update you at the end of the month. But right off the bat, it's like half this product's cool. The other half, not so much. I didn't like it for the under eyes. I felt like it wasn't really adding anything. It wasn't really helping the concealer. If anything, again, it was like just kind of picking up the formula. And I'm going to insert some pictures here because it felt like there were just patches of my skin that looked like 
like there was some foundation versus there wasn't foundation and it was like clumping and getting patchy really fucking strange so i don't like the powder side which is kind of a shame because that's how it comes right so it's like if you don't like half of it it's kind of a waste of fucking money so i want to continue to play with it but just initially right off the bat i'm not a huge fan of it which kills me because i really enjoy patrick ta's stuff so mm, that is more of like a, a fuck you to me <laughs> basically okay and actually i do see some dry texture right here so i think the powder is just not cool and depending on when you see this video because i'm kind of filming things out of order like if you're looking for a really good fucking powder the charlotte Til charlotte tilbury this powder is fucking wonderful i don't deal with any bullshit when i use this powder that powder that deserves to go into the fucking trash <laughs> I fucking hate it. So I'm going to continue to use this because I want to give you more kind of full thoughts at the end of the month. Like when I do like a huge roundup of things. But uh, so far you're not impressing me. If anything, you're pissing me off. And uh, no, fuck out of here. So I don't really recommend going out of your way for that one. I don't think it really added anything. Not cool. Now moving on to the Gucci blush. Bitch. Okay, first of all. Okay, I think that's this is the only thing that's really giving me life, okay? This blush exceeded my expectations. I honestly thought the worst possible thing because I know Gucci products, Gucci products just do not work with me except maybe like a few, right? A handful are wonderful. Everything else has been trash. This has been wonderful. Yes, it's on the smaller side and that's what kind of kills me, especially when you compare it to the bronzer that is big and just shitty. I kind of wish that this was big like that, but you know what? I can look past it because this is absolutely stunning. I love the formula. It's this really beautiful, soft, finish that doesn't feel too garish i kind of feel like an adult <laughs> and i love that like i feel like i'm on my second husband right now okay and i'm thinking about ways to poison him and that's great as for the compact you know, like I said, it's absolutely beautiful, exceeded my expectations. And because of how much I enjoy this formula, I'm gonna be definitely picking up more colors because it's definitely one of those things that I just need to have more of. I really, really like the formula. If you are familiar with like Chantecaille blushes or say Hourglass ambient blushes, I feel like they're on the same wavelength with that. So definitely, definitely check this out if you feel so inclined. But uh, Patrick Todd, no, fucking skip that. Skip that so badly, okay. Anyway, now I want to hear from y'all. Let me know down below if you have any of these products, if you've been loving them, if you've been hating them. If there is something else that you would like to see me review, let me know because I love hearing from you. And with that said, I want to say thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it as always. Feel free to like, comment, hit that subscribe button. It's free. And hit that bell icon for notification of all my future posts. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and Patreon to all my beautiful, wonderful patron bobbies. Thank you so much for keeping this delicious, disgusting, filthy, trashy, really trashy, really filthy, really gross, really nasty. Garbage boat afloat. I couldn't do without you. And I love your adorable little delicious faces. If you want to know what is currently on my face, everything you need to know will be listed in the description box below. And I'll see you little pumpkins later. Bye.